Okay, so let's have a look at some of the criticisms uh, on my very first ES scenario, uh, which actually is a three part search called The Innocent, in case you don't know. I'm going to be throwing a link to part one in the description below. Uh, things first, I want to uh, address some WhatsApp uh, messages that I received. One of them said it was very funny, creepy, and original, but there's a tip in three parts. First one, more images. Second one, uh, less text. And third one, clear plot. The third one, uh, the third one I did not hit it because it was already pre-created. The second one I didn't hit it either because that would make it a bit more realistic to use other languages as well. And the first one I did adhere to many of the part one and part two images. Uh, I didn't do many, and in part three I did way more. Uh, as I'm going to be putting some up, uh, an image from part two and I'll screenshot of part three. Okay, so it's a YouTube comment, the latest YouTube comment on EAS scenario. The Innocent Part 3, uh, MSW, aka EAS Australia, said, One thing I want to point out is that it is uh, one of the music sessions, the song used is Dire Dire Darks, who's spelled as Dry Dry Darks, not Water. Now, this is not a uh, mistake made by me, it's a mistake made by the author of music, Tater Top Shoes, who uh, changed the title to Waterland one day. One of the videos I saw of you that uses this music, it was right, it said Dire Diadox, which is where this comment came from. Now to answer that, it said, nice work on the Australian alert, but I must say your text wasn't scented, uh, that scented. Maybe next time fix it up a bit. Now that comment has to deal with the Australian alert. It was a nice work, but the text wasn't that well scented. The reason why the text wasn't that well scented is because that alert is literally made using a scratch modification called a cheat, and I recorded over it using FreeCam 8, which has caused some quality issues. And as far as that, uh, yeah, scratch didn't do the best graphics or the most fonts. Now, then uh, the reason I did that was because back then I used OpenShot Video Editor to create the uh, alert and all the video. And uh, what happened was that if you in VSDC want to create such a text screen, it's very simple. You just need to create a solid black or white background and adding the images, logos, etc. But in OpenShot, you can't move objects around, and uh, that is why I use Scratch to create it first. Because also because OpenShot didn't allow for animation. Laura Mipes and Dollar C. Tamat, consecutor at Ipissing Elliot, said, "Do we ask mid temper incident at Utla Borat Dollar Magna Aliqua? At an imadmin invenium, keys nostra exercitation lam collaboris nice I at aliquip exiaca modo consequit." Do a saw tara dollar in reprehender it involved at velitesi silum dollar eu fugi at nulla periata. Except chers inter kikad cupid at non proident, something cool per kia fisher deserent molitan imae de state laborum. And on part two, there's another comment from uh, Mr. T. <laughs> no, yes, right. I've heard on the internet that Mr. T is one of your shop I made accounts. But anyway, uh, he says. When is part 3 coming out? You should download some transparent layers. Now, the first one's already answered, and the second one is also answered. As, uh, hmm, this is very special. Some, uh, times I do use transparent logos, and sometimes I don't in, uh, part 2. But in part 3, I search for transparent logos whenever possible. And again, I'm going to show you the differences between part 2 and part 3.
how it go, gang. Uh, yeah. But the first uh, pictures I use, I'm not going to show them because that would delve into spider territory. But uh, they used Scratch only as vector editor. Uh, I created a template in Microsoft Paint, then imported them into Scratch, turned everything into a vector image object, and added the text over it. That worked, but that didn't allow for any kind of animation to be added. So for any other alerts, I used uh, Scratch as a uh, actual programming environment uh, to create the graphics uh, move, that would move. It was then when I discovered 3Cam8. <coughs> now I also used other software for other uh, things. For example, I used uh, Zozi, which is basically a uh, one of the vector animation programs out there uh, uh, for the for some alerts and for others I use stupid uh, which is a uh, grease pencil animation program but I didn't literally use a grease pencil I just used the uh, principle where I would I imported the images uh, one image has a background and that one image has a foreground it slightly moves up uh, I actually did that with uh, object moving up top a very slight bit every single scene. Uh, yeah. Uh, 